you know, one thing I think is when we think about how to invest well, uh, we need to defer a lot to the folks on the ground from the places where we want to participate. So often the, and I say this as a, a you know, former missionary, so, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to cast guilt somewhere else. It is so easy, so often for us outsiders to come assuming we have all the answers because we are wealthier and wealth is the sign of success. So really deferring to the folks on the ground, not only because they're closer to the issues, but also because sometimes they're just less screwed up than we are when it comes to money is really important. Also, I really am excited about folks who are investing in people in the global South's ability to bring their best plate to the potluck through their economic lives, right? So there is a ton of need for food aid. There's a ton of need for health aid. There's, you know, an argument for direct giving in a variety of contexts. But I also think it's really exciting when Christians are involved in the global South in the way that allow people to bring their best plate to the potluck through their own uh energies and agency. So the Chalmers Center has done incredible work helping some of the poorest people on the planet start savings groups. And the stories of these usually women who gather together and pool their resources are just amazing, you know? And um, I have friends in Kenya who are starting businesses in some of the poorest neighborhoods in Nairobi um, to try to help people who are, are in a community with just incredible unemployment find uh, dignified work. And, and there are people, you know, um, one of the reasons why I shifted away from uh, like sort of direct nonprofit work into more teaching is because I realized um, sort of my gifts and where they are and where I'm strongest and where I'm, I'm not strongest. So, you know, there are people on the, in the faith-driven entrepreneur and faith-driven investor network who are geniuses at figuring out how to make things work economically. And some of those folks, there are good ways of investing financially in businesses in sub-Saharan Africa and elsewhere. And I'm not an expert on that, but I think participating in that is really important. And I think when we um, go to invest in the global South financially or partner with companies in the global South economically, it's more important than ever to remember <clears throat> that just as God calls us to be risky and sacrificial with our giving at the end of our economic productive output, God might be calling us to be risky and sacrificial in the way we invest and partner and do business in those places as well, especially since, uh, you know, there can be enormous roadblocks to doing all of that. Um, so that, I mean, yeah. those are some quick intu intuitions, um, although I'm certainly not an expert anymore at, uh, at kind of thinking about that in a global context. Mm -hmm.